me in there. Oh, I got hair. creek hair. <laughs> you got what? Creek hair. It's live. Say hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Kayak and go back over there? No, dude. Stop oh. asking stupid questions, man. Micah, what are you doing? Trying to catch a fish with my hand. You're never going to catch one, bro. All right, so let's talk to him for a minute about what we were just talking about. Okay. We're taking a weekend off, not at church today on a Sunday. It's not normal for us, but we kind of needed a weekend getaway, family time, so we don't kill each other. <laughs> Nobody died, so we had a good weekend. Um, where are we at? We're at Terrapin Creek, Alabama. It's about an hour and a half north of us. What's up, Logan? We're... Um, not far from home, but we, me and Emily did this creek a long time ago, mm -hmm. seven, eight years ago. Yeah, McGuire do much deserved. We needed it. Good to see you, man. So uh, yesterday we went to North Georgia, went up to Helen, Dawsonville, Dahlonega, tried to do some overlanding, riding on trails, and did a little bit of hiking and that kind of stuff. And then today we're out here on the river or the creek kayaking, got all the kayaks uh what's up wild west yeah we uh we're waiting on them to come pick us up from the shuttle so me and dusty actually bought a bunch of kayak well two but it was a bunch of money about five or six years ago we were going to get into whitewater kayak and we did the rappelling thing we did the mountain climbing thing we were like hey let's do the kayaking thing so we did we came here to this place that's their sign right there terrapin outdoor center and we bought like two kayaks Vest, paddles, all that crap. It was like $3,200. They were not cheap kayaks. But mm -hmm. at the time, this place here is the Terrapin Creek. And it's a pretty good size creek. Uh, and they were the only people up here that did outfitting and rentals and that kind of stuff. And uh, so then I guess a couple years after that is when me and you came up, rented boats, and went down it. Yeah. So we came up here today. And when you Google places to kayak Alabama, that place comes up and their new competitor, which has been there a couple years now, which is all that crap over there, yeah. Redneck Redneck Yacht Club, they pop up. I didn't realize it till we got here. They're literally side by side neighbors. Yeah. So the folks next door bought property. I mean, it's a hundred yards apart, put up a big sign and they're offering the exact same thing that these people who've been here for years and based a business on are offering. Now, how you reckon that made them folks feel? <laughs> they's kindly probably a little bit pissed off about that, if I had to guess. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's a stone's throw. So that's the pickup point for the other company over there and uh, the pickup point for this place. And I, I'm talking about driveway, driveway. Wow. Kind of crappy, but it happens in any business. And the, the thing about it is you can't do nothing about it, man. There's nothing you can do about it. Competition is in every industry even the kayak rental business, there's competition. Get messages all the time. Hey, did you see that dude? He's he's copying you on this. He's copying you on that. He's he's making his own this and that. They're doing, it looks just like yours. They're doing their own. You know what? Meh. Meh. It is what it is. It ain't like I'm, yay, competition. <laughs> but it don't matter. You know, as long as you're not straight up just like copy pasting stuff from people. These guys didn't invent kayaks and they didn't invent Hey Beth, how are you ma'am? They didn't invent the concept and they don't own the river. So they just have to deal with it. Now, I'll tell you why we picked the original one over the other one today. Cause we went to the other one first. Mm -hmm. um, but why did we pick this one, Em? Because they would take debit cards. The other place didn't take uh, anything but cash and we didn't have any cash on us. And so we went next door to the originals here and said, hey, y'all y'all gonna take debit? Yes, sir. Boom, decision made, just like that. And it's not about the debit or cash issue, even though that's stupid in 2020 to not take a debit or credit payment option. But take, make the process easy for your customers. You can't control competition. You can't control, there they are, they're here to get us. So I'm gonna wrap up the video, but you can't control competition, but what you can control is yourself. You can control what your company is gonna do and make the process easy for your customers and nine times out of ten, that's all you got to do to win. Hope you all have a great Sunday. Peace. Tell them bye, Alyssa, in the background.